go ahead and shame your own race do what you want sis i'm definitely not shaming my own race of people i'm definitely not shaming my sisters i'm just bringing to the light the very low level vibrational degenerate things that so-called black women do on a daily as if this is a regular thing as if this is normal and i'm calling it out because it's not normal the so-called black woman has been desensitized man she has been degraded and she doesn't understand that she is pulling down her own life with the work of her own hands i'm just calling the things out see we was taught in this world that love is this squishy emotional philly thing when truly no love is action someone who's willing to sit there and lie to you about the bad case that you're in or don't correct you when you go off or when you go wrong or you do things that's going to be uh, damaging to you and your and your people those people hate you what i'm doing is showing love through action because i'm calling out the things that so-called black women are doing and i'm saying this is wrong this is incorrect your oppressors taught you these things your own mind led you astray the spirit of jezebel has consumed you and overtaken your mind and she has deceived you and you have went astray and i'm just simply saying the so-called black woman she's out of order she's rebellious she don't want to listen to anything or anyone she feels as if she's above reproach when she's not She's out here whoring around, sleeping with everybody. She can't be told nothing. And then y'all wonder why y'all walk around with ball spots and y'all don't have edges or hair. And you have to cover up these ball spots and the lack of edges with weave because the Most High has snatched your hair from your head. But you know, your white daddy, he lied to you and told you it was alopecia. When whole time it's not alopecia, it's a curse from the Most High from how because of how you're living the most high said because the daughters of zion are haughty and walk with stretch forth neck and wanting eyes walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet he said i will smite the crown of their head with baldness and then when you go to verse 24 isaiah 3 and 24 it said instead of a sweet smell there shall be stink the women that's out of order, they don't understand why they bald-headed. They don't have no hair. They don't have no edges. And they stink down there because they sleeping around with all these men. The Most High, he is against you. So don't think that I'm coming for my sisters. No, I'm trying to enlighten you, sisters, and show y'all where y'all done went off and where you have erred. Repent and turn back to the Most High. That's, that's it. And, and 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 God ain't hey, please. Uh you 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 want edges that bad. You done stole German shepherd pubic hair skin and wrapped that around your, your, your forehead for some edges. Cause that would have like 100 percent German shepherd pubic hair skin. Uh and it's thing. Ladies, you can't want edges that bad. And God ain't pleased. Uh, I got to be kidding me. Man, I will say this. I am envious of you girls that got edges. You know, my lupus don't let me be great. This side really is, is pretty bare. But baby, God knew to give me lupus. He knew. Like, imagine me snatching your dude up with my natural hair. <laughs> it's a shameful. It's not funny, but it's just the only thing she can think about after Most High has greatly humbled her, snatched all her damn hair out. She ain't got no edges. Only thing she can think about is being a whore and stealing her sister's man. And you can't understand why you ain't got no hair? Okay, let's go on to the next. Okay, I'll look into it, Rhonda. Thank you, Brina. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Universe Baby. 
Hey, Yolanda girl. And hey, everybody that's tuning into this live, I do not want to be rude. Give your girl a like, a share, and a follow. Comment on this live. Ask whatever questions y'all want to ask. That is what we are here for. That is why I decided to start going on live and just be open and be transparent and show my battles and my journey while I was teaching because I battle this every day. As I've mentioned before, I've been battling this since I was a kid, but I battled it even more that I am older. Because as a kid, as a kid, we really don't understand. And we go through people talking about us and stuff, and you know our parents uplift us and encourage us. But now that I'm older, I'm battling with it even more because now I'm at the point to where I'm accepting it and I want to walk around with it. And I know that's probably going to become another battle in itself because I'm showing this to people and y'all know how ignorant people can be. But I'm not worried about none of that because I am here to be a advocate for all women that's like me. I am not the only woman that's like this. There are plenty of women that is like this. And unfortunate society tries to trick us. You mean rebellious? Because the root of it is rebellion. <laughs> it's the Jezebel spirit. It's being whorish. It's being rebellious. It's being prideful. It's being haughty. So the end result is the Most High has snatched your hair from your head he snatched it from your head sisters gotta humble down no we are not normalizing alopecia it's not alopecia it's the curses the most high did that to you we're not normalizing that neither are we just gonna accept our sin no never accept your sin acknowledge your sins and confess your sins to the most high because he is able and just to forgive you of your sins to cleanse you from all unrighteousness but when you repent repentance mean you have to change you can't keep being a whore you can't keep being rebellious and prideful and haughty you got to repent and then the most high may have grace on you and give you your hair back today i'm going to be discussing three types of alopecia Increased stress levels can cause your hair follicles to go into a resting phase and within over time your hair can fall out suddenly. This right here is Tyra Banks and she had this basically after she wrote her first book. Now we all know Tyra Banks is one of the most rebellious women that they have set up as a idol for so-called black women to follow in her steps. She is hella rebellious she stayed promoting homosexuality she stayed promoting things that's against the most high of course he's gonna snatch your edges and your hair repent tyra this usually happens to moms after birth due to the change in their hormone levels this right here is toya johnson and her edges began to thin out well we know the scriptures doesn't lie if them edges are gone those edges are testifying against you gotta repent the last one is traction alopecia this comes from repetitive tension on the scalp of the hair or the hairline. This right here is Naomi Campbell. I believe she had this because hairstylist was braiding her hair too tight, installing wigs too tight, or sewing her weaves too tight. I beg to differ. It's from rebelliousness. It's from the spirit of Jezebel. It's from being prideful, haughty, and whorish, y'all. Every case of alopecia is associated with Isaiah 3, 16 through 24. The root of it is pride, haughtiness, whorishness, and rebellion, sisters. Hey, y'all. So this is a very different video that I wasn't expecting to do. If you are suffering from hair loss, if you know somebody suffering from hair loss, if you know that hair is something that is a very vain issue for you that's associated with a lot of pride and stuff like that that you're dealing with, please continue to watch this video. I'm going to put up a whole video on my YouTube channel about this, but I'm just going to give like a, a briefing on this video. Growing up, there was a lot of trauma that was associated with my hair. God has broken a stronghold of not only embarrassment um, and fear, but there was a curse on the hair of the women in my family. And to be honest, I think some of the men too. But God has anointed me and he has called me for such a time as this. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every single person under the sound of my voice anybody who's dealing with any hair loss right now in the name of jesus i speak to every dormant hair follicle and i command it to activate right now in the name of jesus i speak life into every single hair follicle right now in the name of jesus i speak life to it i command all hair loss all alopecia to leave in the name of jesus you have no right here in jesus name I speak restoration to your hair in Jesus' name. I speak healing to your hair in the name of Jesus. I speak healing to your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit in Jesus' name. Any embarrassment, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. And let the love of God fill you and overwhelm you now in Jesus' name. 
God had revealed to me that I was still fighting a Jezebel spirit. And I finally got to a point where I was like, God, set me free. I said, what is this? Why have I still been dealing with this? And I finally got to the point where I said, you know what? Jezebel, I command you to be honest in Jesus' name. What is your legal right? And as God began to speak to me, and I, I could hear her saying, you know, she gave me a list. But when I spoke to God later on after this, God made me realize hair. And I said, hair. Hair. I said, hair. Like I said, the full video is going to be in my YouTube channel. It's going to be on my YouTube channel. Jezebel was stealing the hair from the women in my family. And I know some of y'all going to be like, girl, a demon was stealing your hair. Yes, a demon was stealing my hair. Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yes, I am. And I decree and I declare freedom to every single woman who has been having her hair stolen. Every single man who has been having his hair stolen in the name of Jesus. And I decree and I declare everything that was stolen from you by the enemy must be returned to you a million fold in the name of Jesus. I have alopecia. Hi loves. Recently, a lot of people have been reaching out to me, you know, just needing to talk to someone about their struggle with having alopecia. Main alopecia spots are right here, right here here and definitely here i also have a spot right here and also right here and trust me through these 13 years of having alopecia your girl has been through some phases in the beginning all i wore was weaves and wigs honey i would make my own wigs and cry every time i had to make one, one day hey y'all here we are as promised a little update video i cut my hair um back in September for National Alopecia Awareness Month because your girl is Team Baldy and Team Alopecia and we finally let go all of that weight. We let it go. I went through ingrown hairs, okay, that I was not aware that we could get on our heads. Just how irritated my scalp would get to certain things along with scab. I did have me some moments where I was like super like self-conscious, like everyone was staring at me and I like went to the car and like burst out in tears because I just felt so seen. We're gonna go ahead and cut off my little area rug, cut off my little Tory Lanez situation. There were tears last time. And now we are just getting it done. absolutely beautiful more beautiful than i have ever felt with any bit of hair or any wig that i have ever installed i did that Hi. see i do it just like this i was given this by my uh when i was diagnosed to help grow the follicles back so you do it one way and then you do it this way oh right there is like where it hurts and see you can see that the fine hair is starting to come back and then after you do that then you have this oil that comes part of the kit and then you massage this into your scalp so and then from time to time, just rub your hair. Yeah. It's probably going through menopause. Isaiah chapter 3, 16 through 24 says, Moreover, the Lord said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanting eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet, therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts and that day the lord shall take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet their calves and their round tires like the moon the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs the headbands and the tablets and the earrings the rings and the nose jewels the changeable suits of apparel the mantles and the wimples, the crisping pins, the glass and the flying linen and the hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass 
that instead of a sweet smell, there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of well set hair, baldness, and instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. Sisters, these are curses that the Most High God, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has put upon you. If you are suffering for what you so called think is called alopecia, it's not alopecia, it's a curse that the Most High has put upon you for your own rebelliousness, dabbling in witchcraft, that spirit of rebellion, pride, haughtiness. He's, he, he's against it. Daughters of Zion, all y'all have to do is repent and return back to the Most High. Pray for grace and mercy that he give you your hair back. And as always, keep the commandments. Who could find a virtuous woman for a price is far above rubies? The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Yah loves a virtuous woman, one of a kind, special design woman. And she loves the most high, virtuous woman. The only one for me. Yah loves a virtuous woman, one of a kind, special design woman. Loves the most high woman. She's all that I want, all that I need. She was made just for me. Yeah. Just woman. She's beautiful inside and out. And when she speaks, only wisdom comes out of mouth. She builds you up and never tears you down. Ain't worried about your cars, house, or your bank account. She's more concerned with living to please our father Being a good wife, role model to our sons and daughters She's full of faith, every day she walks with grace Just her presence alone will put a smile on your face She prefers righteous over being ratchet Always speaks the truth and gives the word with such a passion while other women out there seeking men and attention She's on her knees praying to our Father for wisdom And honestly, her honesty and modesty Is what drives me crazy